Good morning. Uh, welcome to today's service. Uh, it will be a bit unique because, because. <laughs> All right, so please, uh, prophetic people, when they say so, it will be so. Uh, you, you don't know where it will lead to. All right. Uh, Father, thank you for this grace that you granted us health to walk to your house to glorify your name. For this cause, you created man to worship you, to seek, and to find you. That's the full purpose of man. We have lost the purpose, Lord. Welcome us back this morning. Help us to prepare our hearts. Not that we know, but we want to know. Forgive us for hardening our hearts where we should have been listening. Forgive us for hardening our hearts where we should be obeying. Thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Metakasits. Yes, it's quite, quite funny how we want to do it. Because number one, okay, let me say this. We have all lost our individual uniqueness. Can you say you are unique, you? Discuss with your neighbor, your wife. Can, Can you, you say, say you are unique? You're unique. You are not. You are not unique, but you are born unique. Now you are even failing to know what your purpose is. People that vision without purpose, any level they reach in life, they say, I've arrived. Let us look at our first creation by God, Adam. All other animals in the Bible at creation were created to two. Adam was created as a indiv single individual. Question is why? Read the Bible from Genesis. That there be plenty, 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 uh, human animals, two, two, whatever. When it came to Adam, you were single. Why was Adam created single? That was a question when reading the Bible. Why is this individual created single? Simple reason, or one of the many reasons, is that God intended each person to be unique. Tell your neighbor. God intended each person to be unique. That's why even you are born. You are born alone even if you are twins. Now look what you have become. Look, even look at your neighbor. Your facial expressions, are they the same? How about your mind? But what has caused you to think in blocks? Why are you thinking in blocks? And you don't even wonder, you are even voting in blocks. <laughs> you are not voting as an individual. Blocks. Look in your family. Oh, him I said, everybody I said. How? You are all influenced by the mass media. Our education system, 
forces all students into the belly of belly curve. Tell your neighbor. Our education system forces all students into the belly of belly curve. All. All grade one here. Now English. All of us. Well, I want to do geometry, but I can't. I want to go and do sports, but I can't. I, I want to do something else apart from this. I cannot. From there until now, that's who you are. When you look at yourself, you fear man more than you fear God. Why? Because you say, man sees me. But how about God? Discuss. <laughs> you fear man, you. To do anything unique, you fear. To do the course you want, you fear. What has happened now? Mediocrity as well as uniformity. I'm not a politician, but you read the papers. Mediocrity and uniformity. So what are we going to develop? When? We yield to whatever trend prevails. That's what you yield to. You are always yielding to something latest. How you know it's latest? Only you, you know. It's only you who know. Psychological blindness. Psychological blindness. Look at a drunkard. He knows he's wasting his life. He knows he's falling every time. He knows what he's doing is harming him. But he's completely blind to the obvious. Same you. You are completely blind to the obvious concerning your life. Like a drunkard, you got areas in your life that you are what? Completely blind. And everyone can say, this is wrong. But to you, no. Psychological blindness. You know you got no money, but on um, Blue Friday, <laughs> look what you did. The psychological blindness. To you, these things are cheap. This, no, no, no. You don't buy because they are cheap. You buy them because you need them, not you want them. I might be the only one who didn't go to the shops. Is that a reason why you go to the shops? Hmm. We are failing ourselves. Simple question this morning. When are you going to be oneself? Louder. When are you going to be oneself? Again. When are you going to be oneself? Let's think about that. I'm not in a hurry for you. Because when you get right here, success is before you. When you get right what I've just said. We are taking courses that are not for us. We are wearing clothes that are not fit for us. We are eating food that is not fit for us. Everything. You are eating, but you are angry. I don't know what you are enjoying. 
when are you going to be oneself? What is your goal in life? What is your goal in life? One who has a goal cannot be stopped. Look, you. Anything stops you. What one goal are you having that you are willing to die for? That's a question now. To die for. This love affair of yours is not true. To say I can die for you. It's not true because death is far. <laughs> it's not true. You dodge. What do you think happiness is? That's a big question. What do you think happiness is? Because if you don't know what happiness is, you'll be missing every time you'll be chasing something that is not happiness. And your life already can prove that you don't know happiness. Every face tells a story. Look at your neighbor face and tell them, your face tells a story. Your face tells a story. Again, please. Your face tells a story. Hmm. Adam was born alone, unique. That, that's where man comes from. That's how it ought to be. What are your unique abilities that you should develop? <laughs> yes, honey, please. What are your unique abilities that you should develop? Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. The, the deeper I think on the question, the more I realize I'm also psychologically blind. I don't know. But it's there. You're unique. Whereby the whole nation, whole world will know, ah, look at this man. Unique. But we don't develop. You have it. Not that you don't have it. No. But it's buried deep. Deep buried. And you're forgotten. Now you're just what you're living, what society say you are. And you are very careful not to come out what society say you are. But what are your unique abilities that you should be developing to come out of this society? Maybe your wife will help you. Give her, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you. I was hiding my face that you won't see me. <laughs> I saw you. Yeah. Daddy, you are so true. Mm -hmm. We actually are hiding away from ourselves. Amen. Actually, I am hiding away from myself. Mm -hmm. That I not, I'm not even aware of what God has given me. Yes. And what I am I capable of doing. In that way, I'm following whatever I don't know. So in that way, that's where I get lost. You know, dear, my beloved daughter, Tonight come out when it's not raining. Look in the sky. All stars shine. Ask your neighbor, are you shining? Are you shining? Discuss. Thank you so much. Yeah, go outside. And those are billions and billions. They don't collide? Nothing. You, when you wear a particular hairstyle, you say you're what? Here. So what are you going to leave for the generation yet to be born? To say, yes, this is the way to live. High heel shoe? No. 
bring high heel shoe of 1960. No one will wear it. <laughs> so what is it about you? What is it? Okay? I don't I want to ask far-fetched story. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> okay. This lifestyle, is it what you want? Ask your neighbor. This lifestyle, is it what you want? I can't hear. Answer. No. Then what are you doing about it? Philip, my namesake. <laughs> Take off your gl glove on the face. <laughs> uh, thank you, Daddy, for, for this teaching. Thank you. I, I, I think this teaching uh, is waking up yes. us from slumber mm -hmm. to really know that what God has put us inside of us need to come out so that we can be unique. As Adam was born unique, yes. this teaching is helping us to extract that was inside of us that we now need to put to the surface. Okay. Thank you. You have just reminded me. When you are man was created, what, God, what did God do? He breathed into man. What are you doing with that breath of God in you? Is this, this what God can do? You got that ability, capability, power, and all of God in you. But what are you doing about it? You got the breath of God in you. That's what causes you to be like this. But you don't think deep enough. You copy. And as you copy, when the one you are following comes out of the road, you are stuck. You go backward. I'm going to be a bit nasty, but it's true. Some of us who are not supposed to have left our villages. Ask your neighbor then, what are you doing here? someone coming to the city. You are not supposed to be here. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, KG. Thank you so much, Baba, for the teaching. Um, I'm not doing anything with uh, the breath of God that he has breathed in me. I feel like I'm not as unique as I should be. I have copied a whole lot of things. Some of you, thank you, my daughter. Even the way you speak is not you. When are we going to hear you speak? <laughs> when? When you're dying? We shall know you when you're dying. Please, please, please. Ah. <laughs> now you have forgotten America English now here. <laughs> Look, I gave you that example of Adam so that we, we start developing, please. What is happening in the world is to restart everything. People who think now who excel. But complainers won't. Because this is affecting everyone and everybody. Those who had whatever and those who don't have, everybody is affected equally. 
But now this is your uniqueness now. What should I do in this time? What kind of lifestyle am I going to live? Lifestyle am I going to live? Yes. I'll give an example and please pay attention. The egg of a duck was placed together with the egg of a hen. Is that okay? Can I go on? When the chicks hatched, the mother hen took them for a walk. You know, uh, they were passing a stream. The duckling jumped into the water. The mother hen panicked, shouting, Come out, you are going to drown. The duckling responded, Mama, don't panic. Have no fear. I know how to swim. Have you identified who you are? I can't hear you. <laughs> Have you identified who you are? Zach. No, Father, I have not identified who I am. Thank you. Yes, sir. Because a lot of you, even now, when I say, can I see 20 people, you'll be among those 20. When I ask you, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, thank you. I have not identified who am I, Dad. So, who are you? Can't you say? Just because of trousers and shirt and beard, you say you're a man. <laughs> Apart from that? Nothing else. Then. When we put you in a room of darkness, and can you know who you are? No, that. You just perish. Just like that. Thank you. The existence of one billion people, five billion people, does not distract each person's uniqueness. Thank you. For the first time you're alive. The existence of billions of people does not distract each person's uniqueness. Why do you care about people who put you down? That's not who created you. Nothing. That's not the issue. Every individual is one time phenomenon. One time. What? Phenomenon. You are a wonder. One time wonder. That's why somebody who never went to school and all, they, when he dies, the whole world is crying. He knew who he, who he was. And he never acted that he's not, he went to school. Maradona. He never. It was his behavior and all, but his uniqueness. He tapped into his uniqueness. Doing with a bow. What a magician can do with his hand. Tell your neighbor. Doing with a bow, what a magician can do with his hands. All of us now, the whole world, presidents, common man, villager in the village, knows Maradona. Good question now, the big question. If you expire now, who will know you? Ask your neighbor. If you expire now, who will know you? 
You are dying with all those uniqueness in you. It will be your parents to remind us about a funeral. About, oh, that girl used to stay in Jobek. Which one? <laughs> but why? You are not supposed to go like this. You settle so easily. You settle so easily. And you have not even challenged yourself even when you are sleeping. Is this all that God created me for? I was born alone, but I'm dying as a photocopy. Where have I lost my identity? Where have I lost my uniqueness? I'm not just going to follow the crowd. Every person should know, I, with my strength and talent and facial features, am unique. I tell your neighbor. I with my strength, with my strength and talent, and talent and facial facial features, and facial features and my personality traits, and my personality traits. I'm unique in this world. I'm unique in this world. Again, please. I, with my strength and my talent and my facial features and my personal traits, am unique in this world. So don't fit in. They're trying to bring you to fit in. <laughs> Please, refuse. Because everything about you is gone. It's a shell. But you can claim it. Because that what God gave in you has not perished. As long as you're breathing, you can rediscover and you can excel. Amen. Repeat after me. Among all those living today. Among all those living today. And all, or, and all past generations. And all past generations. There was no one like me. There was no one like me. Nor will there ever be anyone like me. Nor will there ever be anyone like me. To the end of time. To the end of time. God has sent me to this world. God has sent me to this with world. With a unique mission. With a unique mission. That no one else will fulfill. That no one else will fulfill. Only I. Only I. In my one time existence. In my one time existence. Only I. Only I. In my one time existence. In my one time existence. I will do it. I will do it. Your existence is just one. That's it. One time existence, then you are gone. Warning. A person who seeks only the approval of others and is ready to imitate whatever he sees or others do, a person who seeks only the approval of others and is ready to imitate whatever he sees others do, ready to imitate whatever he sees others do. This person is distant from himself or herself. Distant. Yes, you can a, read for the betterment of the people. May I know it? A person who seeks only the approval of others mm -hmm. and is ready to imitate whatever he sees others do, that person is distant from himself or herself. How many now realize with all my clothing, I'm far from myself? <laughs> Even you people on instrument. <laughs> uh, junior, you are here. What have you heard? Distant. So such a person, you cannot help them. Even if they can come for counsel. 
you see, this person is far from himself and herself. Then you say, prophet, things are not working to this one. Yes. Thank you, prophet, for this grace. As you're teaching now, you are teaching about my life because as you said that Adam was born alone. Yes. And the stars shine alone. Yes. Me, what bring my downfall was a surrender people always move with the crowd. Other people for what? Always move with the crowd. Which crowd? It's now you are just telling me that I was born alone, I'm supposed to be alone. And those people brought my downfall. So I'm very, very grateful always to be in your presence. It's because this teaching you are teaching us is not teachings you hear in the church. You know, even when you are, people are working, they say we, we. Did you go there together? Please, be unique in your self. That's all. So this is the work I can do. Let your work speak for you. That's uniqueness. Not because of riot manners. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. From the group, I'll say, come here. You won't say anything. Thank you. Yes, sir. You're in front here. Yes. Thank you, Prophet, for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, from today, I've realized that uh, you are speaking to the me that I have not yet discovered myself. It is deep within me, it is hidden within me, but because of following the crowd and following other people, I have lost the uniqueness that I was born with. Look at how you get angry. You get angry because you don't know who you are. And you are getting angry over useless things. Things that are perishing. <clears throat> what for? Now you go sickness. Elder. Uh, thank you, Father, and good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, thank you very much. Uh, it's a wonderful day today. It is. <laughs> uh, Father, we are disillusioned. We are completely confused. And when we look at people like you, your uniqueness and the kind of things you do, would think we, you just fall from heaven. And you have all those in you. All of us here, we got one breath from our Father. One. There's no one here who's got breath from Satan. It's all from God. All of us, the whole entire billion, billion of people. One. Problem is you. Continue. And it's now you're just uh, opening the calm of warm that has been battling inside us. We've been writing the wrong or copying another man's life, mm -hmm. living our personal life, and we have failed the exam of life. Some of us are getting old. We've left the purpose while we are here. And we keep blaming people around us to a point we are now blaming God that he did not bless us. Why he has given us everything. We failed to manage it. We failed to pour our uniqueness in it. And nothing we do that grows. So we are living a mirage and keep on covering ourselves with beautiful colored clothes and then just to hide from people, not to know that we are complete failures. You have just 
given us a new lease in life, if we can hold on to it and believe and put our trust in God to bring out that uniqueness, because that uniqueness is the potential. That's why we're here on earth in the yes. first place. Look at you. Even in your laughter, there's pain. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. Look at you. Even in your laughter, there is pain. True? Completely true. <laughs> Why? The pen is not even easy, and we are hiding even that pen. Don't Can you tell people that, you know, I'm painful. It's painful because I've lost my purpose here on earth. You showed, you showed teeth to show you are happy. Down. <laughs> <laughs> Father, it's a great thing for us to be in this arena of liberty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely the young ones, and not only the all of us, yeah. the miracle is still there. The wonders that we are planted in is still in there. That's true. We just forgot to know that the Lord has said that we are signs and wonders. You, and you like talking fruit. that, mm. you people. I'm a sign and wonder. Mm. The positive one or the negative one? Huh? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Elder. Thank you, Dad. I'll ask you. I say it's unique because it's, this is first lecture. This. We haven't finished. Tell you never. This is first lecture. We, we haven't finished. We are going deeper a bit. This is surface. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Father, for the grace. Um, I'm sitting here and thinking as the prophet was talking about the year the uniqueness that each person was created with. And it's bringing a lot of thinking in me to start digging deep to find out exactly the uni uniqueness that uh, is within me and to live by it. Mm -hmm. Why difficult? Why is it difficult? We... <laughs> The lifestyle we are living, Father, the lifestyle I'm living, it's um, what I was introduced into and ended up stuck in it to, and it made me to even fa make me to realize who, who I really am. So when are we going to know you? You got the breath of God. That's why when the last thing a dying person to know is gone is the breath. <laughs> just turning, just like. <sighs> That's, this is what was causing him to breathe and walk and do all things. Question, where has it gone? Yes, my daughter. Answer that question, your uniqueness and all. What has happened? Good morning, my beloved. Um, all I can say is that I appreciate you mm. for bringing um, what I have lost. Amen. And for me, it's to take back home and, you know, dig deep. Yes. Be in touch with the Creator. Amen. To help me to regain that. Look, you are unique. Everything about you, it's you. You are unique. Immediately, my daughter, you want to be that one. You have missed it. In your uniqueness, there is something that the whole world wants to see. Amen. But you're hiding it. The whole world wants to see the uniqueness that is in you. It will shine. It will, it, you, you, your uniqueness, you don't have to fight anyone. I'm unique, that's all. If you like that one, that's one. If you like that one, that's you. What I'm, but I am who I am. Amen. But what have we done with it, my beloved daughter? Please. What have you done with it? It's gone. Gone. Why and when? Some of us, it was somebody who said, you think you're beautiful like this. But is it you created me? Why are you negative to me? You came to me with my uniqueness. 
Now with my uniqueness, you say I'm not beautiful. With my uniqueness, you say I'm not handsome. With my uniqueness, you say I'm not pretty. And you, you believe. Who is foolish? That's all. Did you create yourself? The maker knows why. Who saw the face of Adam? You are going to say it's ugly. How can of all creation was born alone? If it was you, you're going to say, look at this man, Elona. But God knew. Tell your neighbor. Thank you, my daughter. Hmm? God knew. You, the way you are, you say, oh, oh I, should do, I should do this. I should do this. Why? If you get this one, no one will move you. Look, this, this ministry is 20 years now gone. I face people of your caliber. Others wish. My vision is not to end with you. Where you end is not where I end. Many, I was just listening to song today. Oh, I said, ah. When we started, we used to sing this song. And I was picturing the people who once sang this song going backward. Going backward. When we started. And I saw different faces leading the same face, uh, same song, until now. Then I was asking, what happened? Then, because we bought one machine in impact, they said we have arrived, and they left. Same, some of you here, with a tent like this. Oh, we're at Holy Land. We have... We haven't. There's a lot of work. Before in impact, we are not putting gate for people to come in. They're all coming in. Now they find out there is your name here. <laughs> the way you see it there, that heaven like. All those whose name is not written in the book of life, they will not go that way. The same way here. You can come and say, I'm beautiful, I'm tall, I'll give you, you corrupt that one. You can, no corruption here. There are a lot of them. Then you go back. I've seen people who came with zeal Manas knowledge, they are not with us. My small baby, there, stand up, please. My small baby, that, that one at the back. That one. Sure, small. Since then, until now. You hurry. You hurry because you don't know yourself. You hurry because you don't know what you want. So because you say, hey, it's happening there. It's happening there. God does not bless the happenings. When God has prepared you, he will bless you. God is not a waster. This hurry, hurry, hurry of yours has brought problem to you. You can ask some of the things from that dear daughter of mine, Keji, and the others, I can't know them now. They've got gloves on their face. So I can't tell who it is. And starting quick. It doesn't mean you know what you're doing. <laughs> Starting slow 
you want to make sure you know what you're doing. Not confusing people. Thank you so much, sir. Have you told us? <laughs> speak, speak. speak. He didn't tell us that one. No, he didn't. What did you say? <laughs> yeah, same him. Came long time back. Hmm? So these are the people who cannot confuse. There are people here who cannot confuse. No matter how much lie you have, you go to them, you are just wasting your time. They will tell you, go to another neighbor. I know who I am, I know what I want, I know when I came here, I know what this ministry has done in my life. Amen. Problem with a lot of you is anger. Speak, what, what have you learned? <laughs> Prophet, thank you so much. <laughs> um, when the prophet mentions when, when, are you, when are we going to know you, it's, yes. it's not even a matter of when will people know me, but at present moment it's like when will I even know myself? That's where I'm actually at at this present moment. And I thank God for the grace to have a father like you who always directs and channels us to the right place where we will be able to identify and know who we are in life. Amen. Can I be honest, my dear son? There are others here. Where, when I ask my father, you are not there in heaven. So I'm wondering, where are you? Others here are known in heaven. Others, no. Which is true. Others are not. Heaven know them. If I take this up in the heaven to our kingdom, to God's kingdom, our Father in heaven, some place there is light, some place darkness. Dot, 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 dot. Ah, here light, here darkness, here light, here darkness. Whom can you know here? Light, darkness, light, darkness, 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 darkness light. Hmm. Narrow road. And we have settled easily with his breath. That's why we fear man. We say, Man should not see me. <laughs> not fearing God who sees everything. The sickness. Look when you are dodging, when you are doing whatever you want to do. You go there, you go, has anyone seen you? No. Ah, you are, <laughs> why can't you tell this one? As God, God has seen us. So we are running from what? <laughs> Your life will change. <laughs> all right. Let's all stand up. I hope you got some uh, Bible. Bible. You have Bible? Let's all stand up to get read. We are going to chapter 2 in the same service. I love you. That's how I'm waiting. Psalm 15. We shall wait for each other. Psalm is not very far from the left and from the right. Right. <laughs> Psalm 15. Are we there? Let's all read together. One, two, three. Who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly 
and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his own hurt and does not change, he who does not put out his money at usury, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent, he who does these things shall never be moved. He who does these things shall never be moved. With that scripture, he who does these things shall never be moved. Are you there? Uh, can't you see? This Psalm 15 qualifies you or disqualifies you. Let's read again. One, two, three. Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly. That's one. He who walks uprightly. Uh huh, two. And works righteousness. Uh huh. And speaks the truth in his heart. Uh huh. He who does not backbite with his tongue, oh. nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his own hurt and does not change, he who does not put out his money at usury, nor does he take a bribe against his, the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. He who swears to his own heart and does not change. When he said, I'm coming to see you. Whether it's raining, lightning, what and what, such a one comes. He knows he's tired. She knows she's tired. But because she said, I'm coming to see you, it does fulfill. Are you that person? How many people have told me in my ears, Prophet, I'm not going to leave this church. In fact, anyone who harms you, I'm going to kill them. Me. <laughs> Where are they now? Thank you. May I take a seat? How many people here this morning or afternoon would like to love God so much whereby these earthly things become irrelevant? You have them or you don't have them, it's not a big deal. How many would love to, to have that type of love? Why are you failing now? Hey, let me just have quiz, quiz time. Why are you failing to love God with all your heart? Loving God with all your heart and God knows that you love him. Humanly speaking, God knows this one loves me. Why don't you do that? Yes. Thank you, Dad, for this opportunity. Um, I desire to love God with all my heart. However, I find... The life um, of desires, I think it's my desires that are distracting me from getting closer to God. I get closer to God, and on the way, I get distracted. That's your husband? Yes, Dad. I congratulate you, sir. I congratulate you. She's impossible to love. <laughs> True or false? No, no. I con give him. I congratulate this man. Yeah, it's true, sir. No. This man, I salute you, sir. I thank you, sir. You are rare. You are rare. You have, you have, you have you, all the ocean of foolishness. You just keep it. 
Ocean, you know Ocean? Yes, I know. But keep my daughter. She doesn't know what she's doing. I will, sir. And she doesn't know what she wants. She doesn't know what she wants, my daughter. My daughter, I'm your father. Please, God has blessed you. With the others here are trying by all means to have him. Don't forget the road you have passed to find him. The pain you had before him. The insults you heard from different people before him. You. Now, God gave you. Now, you say, what are you? Please. Please. I plead with you. There is future. Please. Thank you so much, sir. I thank you, sir. Keep her for my sake. I will, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. My daughter, do you iron his clothes? Huh? Do you iron his clothes? Sometimes. Son, this week put all clothes. And you, you take picture and send to the office. She should iron everything and put in hanger stick, okay? To change all this. This is your husband. Thank you. Because this is two way. Right now we say abuse, abuse, but look at him. We don't remember man. Huh? There's man here being abused. And if a man can say this, as ah, not you, we women only. It's human. It's social. It's social problem, this. It's societal problem. Man and woman, please. These men here you are seeing, they are just dying in secret. Because if they can speak, they are afraid of man laughing at them. No, it's true. This is either man or woman. Both. If you can have just an open society, please speak. <laughs> I need police protection. <laughs> if I speak everything. It's true. A man. There are men here. When you look at them, oh. Uh, that's why I say st be strong in Christ. It's where you have comfort and from there you become who you are. Then you can put your house in order. Every house should prosper. Amen. Every house should have equal. Huh? You speak, you speak, you attend what? Until the end. Is that okay? Please. Huh? Serve him. Like, he's your king. You are the queen of the house. Huh? Please. Because like this, you have difficulty for the blessing that you are praying together. You only come together when you are praying for blessing. Any other thing, you are not together. <laughs> now, how can God bless you? Everything you don't agree. You won't agree on what? Blessing. Say, let's pray. God, bless us. In Jesus' name. God has said, there's no Unity. There's no love. That's why I asked, thank you so much, you can take a seat. That's why I asked that question. How many desire to love God? So sweet. Nothing else matters. How many? But why can you not do it? What do you think is a problem, my daughter? Thank you. Hmm? Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for the teaching. Thank you. We have that desire, Dad, but within our hearts, we've got many other desires. Mm. 
How do you desire God and desire banana? That's why it's not working, Dad. Eh? That's why it's not working. <laughs> That's why it's not working? Yes, Dad. Yes. You remember I met you there? Because I thought by now you had ring with this breakdown. Huh? You call it what? Lockdown. Me, I say breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it will, it will happen, don't worry. I'll, I'll teach you how. Huh? But you are stubborn. <laughs> okay, thank you, my girl. Yeah. She, she's got everything, but... Yes. You want to love God? What is stopping you? I can't hear. You're, how? Ado? I copy. You copy? That's not even copying. This one is another one. Leave copying alone. Those who want to love God, love fellow man, then you love God. Amen. That's why you are failing. Thank you. Can you see why you're failing? Sunny, can you see why you're failing? You fail to? Love fellow man. One who loves fellow man. Ah, very easy to love God. Easy. Because you love all man. God loves all man. Like father, like son. So what can I say? You are failing to love God. Reading Bible when you are distant from God, nothing will happen. Yes, honey. Thank you, Dad. Thank uh, you. I must say, Dad makes the word of God simple. <laughs> you know, when we read scripture and you keep reading with this big English, you even go to Venek, you still don't understand. <laughs> but Dad makes the word of God simple. And uh, you know when Dad says, just love the fellow man. That's, all. That's one single thing. But uh, maybe it's because we're looking at different things. And uh, But thank you. Thank you for that teaching. Thank you. thank you, Sonny. Why are you looking for things from your fellow man whom you don't love? Thank you. Love fellow man. When you love fellow man, love of God will follow you. I can't hear you. Yes, yes my daughter. What can you say? Thank you, Dad. Thank you for, for the teaching. And the way you are explaining how to love God, it's by loving your fellow man as my brother has said it, you, are, you have made it so easy because my loving of God comes with my own conditions mm -mm. and my own terms. Now, now what do you want there? So you are God. That's the ugly truth. Oh, give to my daughter this one here. <laughs> love, love fellow man. Love of God will follow you. And you cannot hurt anyone you can do nothing because love of God is following you. It's following you. So why crook you when love of God is following me? Hmm? Why gossip you when love of God is following me? Why give you wrong price when love of God is following me? Nothing. I will tell you, ah, just take it the way it is. Yes? Okay. Thank you, Prophet, for the message. Um, as you have told us that it's simple to love God above everything. Yeah. The condition is just to love the fellow man. Um, and we find it very difficult. Now I know that the solution is very simple. Mm -hmm. It's just to have love for other people. Oh, people. Yes. Even your nasty neighbor. True. Yeah. <laughs> just love them. Yes. Bring bread. Yes. He said, I brought you bread. He said, ah, you eat. You witch. Ah, I can't eat yes. your bread. He said, oh, it's okay. Then you go back. Then you bring water next time. Sealed water. Mm. Water. Ah! 
throw. You continue. Love knows no bounds. Mm -hmm. yes. That's Psalm 15. Love knows no bounds. You can continue talking ill, what and what. You got no ill in your heart. So what can you say? You only speak if it's in you. If I don't have, what should I speak? People say, speak back. Speak back what? All I have is love. Is that how you are? But what is your problem then? Thank you, my beloved. Even in business, it goes wrong. What should you have? Love. I can tell you one thing. You will never lack. Now you are lacking because you got hatred. You got envy. You got jealousy. You got gossip. You got everything. Why? You have all these things. And this one who's doomed to you, he has got all these things. Why should God bless you? I'm saying, why should God bless you? Do you know that the person whom you say is your enemy was created by God? Are you aware of that? Are you aware? Then if he was created or she was created by God, why have all this against this one? Did God make a mistake? Then you're finding a mistake with this man. You're finding a mistake with this lady. We are finding a mistake with your boss. How? Look at your progression. Up, down, down, down. Up, up, down, down, down. Up, up. Then you say, no, this is a generational case. <laughs> it's not. It's you. How did you go up? You did not maintain the up. What are you saying? What did you have in your heart? God does not fool. When God blesses, increases the blessing. When you go to leave the blessing for generation after you. Not when you are going, everything is going. Go back on your knees. Your heart is not right. Just go back on your knees. Your heart is not right. Your finances evaporating like water. You're accusing people now. You're accusing people in your house. You're accusing your neighbor. You came here. I think it's the neighbor. <laughs> my children can't steal. Can't steal. It's my neighbor. But why do you provoke instead of love? Yes, sir. <clears throat> That's all. That's the reading Bible with love. You hear Bible. You hear God. You hear voice of God. You hear. You want to read Bible? God will say, oh, I want to talk to you. Go to this book here. I want to speak to you here. Now you, it's Genesis, 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 Genesis. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, men of God, for the message. Your message that you are always teaching us, they direct us to God, but with our desires, we fail to draw closer to God because of all our, our, our earthly desires. The love of God, especially, I, I'll say within me, I desire strongly to draw closer to God. <laughs> Is but that not through envy? Is that not through jealousy? Why do people start ministry without calling of God? Many are called. Few? To start ministry should be one of the few, not one of the many. Tell you never. To start <laughs> ministry, you should be one of the few, not one of the many. No. 
You should even know why you have been called. He gives you testament. This is your calling, testament. When you are born here in the country, they give you certificate, birth certificate. When you are born, when you are born in kingdom of God, certificate, where is the seal? Are you here? You are just born. Here in the country, they give you paper with name. Kingdom of God? <laughs> I, no, uh, I don't want to. What did you say, sir? Sorry. <laughs> ah, hmm? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, our, as I was saying, my de I desire more and more to, to draw closer to God. Yes. But with all the things that are around me mm. and friends and with trying to make it and achieve out of my own things okay. that I even now fail to, to do what I, I desire more, like to seek God, even to read the Bible, to pray. Okay, but I told you, my dear son, I said, Adam was born alone. Adam was born alone. That's why Adam succeeded. When Adam was alone, before he was given, It was great. <laughs> Adam, when he was alone, he was powerful. When he was given, he was powerless. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. Adam, when he was alone, he was powerful. When he was given, he was powerless. That's idiom. Okay, let's stand up and pray for this. Then we shall go to chapter 3. Yeah, you got a lot before Christmas. Now, you plead for closeness to God. Closeness to God. Prayer. Father. Open your mouth and pray. Closeness to God. All these things that are troubling you is you are far from God. You are distant from God. You cannot be close to God and things bother you. No. That's a sign. Like my son was saying, his friends. When you have friends you cannot control, it's because you are distant from God. Prayer to draw Lord, please, draw me close to yourself. Draw me close to, to yourself. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We have prayed. Lord God. Lord God. Guard me. Guard me. Against envying one another. Against envying. One another. God me. God me. Against. Against. Envying. Envying. One another. One another. Prayer. Prayer. Envying one another has crippled you. You have lost your identity. You are always sad. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord. Lord. Help me. Help me. Not to envy. Not to envy. Anyone. Anyone. And let others and let others not envy me not envy me lord lord help me help me not to envy not to envy anyone anyone and let not 
and let not others, others envy me. Envy me. Prayer. Because that's a problem there. When you envy people, measure for measure. When you envy people, they will envy you. Problem now. Prayer. Let me not envy anyone. Prayer. Prayer. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We have prayed. Amen. Lord, Lord, put in my heart, put in my heart that, I should see that I should see qualities, qualities and, merits and merits of my fellow people. Of my fellow people and not their faults. And not their faults. Put in my heart. Put in my heart. That I should see virtues. That I should see virtues. Qualities. Qualities. Merits. Merits. Of other fellow people. Of other fellow people. Not their faults. Not their faults. Prayer. Because your life is not going straight. You are measuring on seeing people's faults. You don't see people's qualities. You don't see people's merits. Your heart doesn't see other people's merits. Prayer. See merits in your wife. See merits in your husband. See merits in your boyfriend. See merits in your girlfriend. See merits in your children. Merits. They've got qualities, these people. They've got virtues. But because of envy. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Lord, Lord, help me, help me to speak to speak to my fellow person to my fellow person in a way in a way that is proper that is proper and desirable and desirable to you God Almighty to you God Almighty that is proper that is proper and desirable and desirable to you God Almighty to you God Almighty offer prayer. The way you speak is not good. Change today after this prayer. Change. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. Let me not carry. Let me not carry. Hostility. Hostility. Hatred. Hatred. Towards anyone. Towards anyone. Lord. Lord. Help me. Help me. Not to carry. Not to carry. Any hostility. Any hostility. Any hatred. Any Hatred towards anyone. Towards anyone. Prayer.
In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. We have prayed. Amen. Okay. When you say we have prayed, we stop prayer. So that we hear next instruction. But you are going now. Ooh, I'm on fire. You now you are being hostile towards me. <laughs> uh, gracious Father. Gracious Father. Grow in us. Grow in us. Love. Love. And respect. And respect. For each other. For each other. And other people. And other people. God Almighty. God Almighty. Grow in each of us. Grow in each of us. Love. Love. And respect. And respect. For each other. For each other. And other people. And other people. Prayer. Amen. 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 Clap for Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Are you feeling great? Huh? Amen. Be unique. Amen. Let not the world fashion you. No. Mass media should not fashion you. I'll just pick a few, then we'll go and break, then it will be nasty. All right. I want you to go and think about it now. That's why God gave us big land to explore in sorrow and misery and happiness. <laughs> because many of us, we don't know what happiness is. And that's what we want to look at the other time. But for now, the cancer of internet. Tell your neighbor. The cancer of internet. And you can sit down. <laughs> What's the title? The Cancer of Internet. I just want to explain a few things. <clears throat> there won't be many, because I know you love internet. But it has brought misery to you. I'll speak to myself. Not a week goes by that I don't get a call about new casualties to the internet. Casualty. Casualty to internet. Other calls, yes, they come very desperate about themselves. Trapped in a behavior from which they have unsuccessfully tried to detach, to remove themselves. You are here. Trapped in a behavior from which you have unsuccessfully tried to detach or remove yourself. Others do call in and call on behalf of family members. My, da my son, my daughter, other women, my husband, my husband is hooked on internet. It's a cancer. Let me warn everyone here and those listening by television, there's no immunity to internet. There's no freedom. Even now, some of you just say, when is prophet going to release us so that I check my phone? For what? While you are checking, it's good for business. I'll tell you the truth. But about the pop-ups, tell your neighbor. 
But how about the pop-ups? No, we can put this and this and this. This, yes, it's minimal. This thing is open still. I'm here to tell you that if I can ask Microsoft to give me what my members watch, you won't come here next week. Ask. Say, please, these are my members. Give me a breakdown of them around 11 to 2 o'clock instead of reading Bible and prayer. It's not only RCM, <clears throat> even the caliber of people in the public offices, they are fallen prey to this problem. World over. The Satan has become overpowering and is claiming victims. Claiming victims day and night. I'm bored. You are claimed victim. Oh, let me check. Let me check. But why? Check Bible. Check Bible. Hmm? Internet has destroyed spiritual lives as Destroyed marriages has destroyed families. A lot of families now, they don't find any satisfaction in their lives because all the desire was destroyed before they got married. Internet. And people are saying, I'm married to a single wife, but they are lying about those they watch on the internet. You're a polygamist. You have watched all sorts of people on your internet, from India to Brazil, Spain, Italy, North Africa. And you say you are married to a single woman. How about the, all these? They are in you. Are we, too, are we feeling comfortable? I, I, I can't hear you. How many say, I need help? I really need help. Yes. No, look, look, this time has come. I said there, there is no immunity. There is no freedom. So there is nothing to say I'm shy. Shy about who? This thing is destroying you. When it's destroying you, you are not shy. Why is this so? Genesis 20 verse 11. There is just no fear of God in this place. That's all. There is just no fear of God in this place. That was Abraham. When they were taking his wife Sarai from him. There's no fear. Even if I say she's my wife, you're going to kill me. So she's my sister. Take her. Because in this place, there's no fear of God. You do anything, anytime, anywhere. And from there, you say, God does not want to bless me. When there's no fear in you, everything is possible. What, what will stop you from doing whatever I want you to do? When there's no fear in you, what else? Everything is possible. Even the most immoral behavior is possible. No fear of God. Write this one in capital letters. 
May your fear of God be as great as your fear of people. Yes. Louder. May your fear of God be as great as your fear of people. Again and again. May your fear of God be as great as your fear of people. Let's all read what I've written. May your fear of God be as great as your fear of people. Yes. You are concerned that no one should see you. Concerned. No one should see you. No one should know. It does not bother you that God sees you. Where can I go from his presence? You, it does not bother you that God sees you. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself today. Without fear of God, nothing else will be effective in your life. Without the fear of God, nothing else in your life will be effective. Nothing. <laughs> Junior, why are you looking at me like that? There's no fear of God in this place. Thank you, Prophet, for this grace. You know, you're just, as you're teaching, you're just looking at us and seeing everything that we're doing in that grace. Because, like me, I do things, you know, as, as we were teaching earlier, there are uh, things I do, and I know that we end in disaster, and I continue doing it. Mm. And I know that any time I do that, thing, the end will not be good. And I keep on doing that. Thing. As we were teaching earlier, that's what we were teaching. And now, and we're doing those things because we say that God don't see us, that man don't see us, but God sees everything. And we keep on doing those things. That is uh, like, oh, bless us. God. Now you come here and you say, it does not teach proper. It does not teach proper. Me, I'm saying, look, follow this. Blessings you don't pray for. Blessings are given. Blessings are given. When you married, so God says, I'm pleased with my son. Look, you got a child who's in uh, grade 12 and he passes, he's going to university. He says, Dad, the only thing I wanted, buy me a car. Can you say no? I just need, need. maybe from grade 7 or saying, I need to have my own car when I go to university. When I, he forgot that he told you. When he's going to university, he say, Sonny, this is your car. He did not ask, he did not cry, he did not climb the mountain top, nothing. He just said, my results are here. I'm going to, oh, here's your car for your universe. Ah, Dad, you can do this for me. That's what it means when God blesses. Ha! Ah, it's too much, Lord. Have you ever told God, hang on, the, the blessing that came in the morning, I'm still meditating, now this one again. <laughs> Have you been there? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much for. Yes. Thank you so much for your for, for what you had, for, uh, for the process you're taking us every day. We're here. Yes. It's a process. Do you know? Can I tell you someone something? When you read the whole Bible, okay, the Bible is telling us every human being, don't sin because you don't know the gravity of sin. That's all. Genesis two, Revelation. Don't sin. That's all. It didn't, it, Christ didn't come to bless us. Christ came to set us free from sin so that we, shall, we should live the abundant life. The whole Bible, don't sin. 
We don't know the gravity of sin. That's why we sin. Everything stops. If God can permit his son to die because of sin, now you say this is more sin. Ah. Yes, sir. Look, now you are, you are, you are, you do, your heart sin, your eyes sin, your ears full of gossip. What you have heard here. It's your problem now. Give it to him. Yeah? Yes, sir. Thank you, Junior. Thank you so much, Prophet, for the opportunity. Everything that you have taught from beginning to now, if we follow it, it will help us. Because yes. from the beginning, you said uh, Adam was created alone. The reason being, God wants us to be unique. So if I develop the things that God has um, put in me, I'll be that unique person and the world will be a better place. And now we are continuing to explain to say um, the greatest commandment that Jesus taught us was to love one another. If we love one another, the world again will be a better place because when we love one another, no one will um, Don't do ra Look, 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 look. Love wa loving human being. The benefic beneficiary is me, the one who loves. That's true. So I cannot wait for you to love, the, uh, to love me. Me, I will love you, and I'm receiving blessing. You are wasting your time by not loving me and by not loving each other. Tell your neighbor. Ah. <laughs> me, I'm loving you. And that's why I don't go by what man say. I go by what God say. If I went by what man say, a lot of you are now supposed to be in this ministry. Because people whom you think they love you, they report you. So I don't entertain. <laughs> Hello? I don't entertain. There's no need. Let me know somebody by the Spirit. Have you seen? So you can do all the nonsense. Okay? All the nonsense. But me, I know you by the Spirit. That's why people wonder, ah, doesn't he not know? Look at Jesus. No, how can he eat supper, lunch, with sinner? Jesus was not looking at the lunch. He was looking at the... If this one comes, thousands will come. He's got a good heart. You who, pa, 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 whom have you brought to Christ? You judge. How can I collect her? Ah, she's, she has got so many boyfriends. She has got so many boyfriends because she doesn't know Christ. This is the one I want. Because when she knows who she is, she will respect herself. And she'll be a better person. We don't condemn people before their time. We love them. We love them. We don't look at what people do. We see the God's creation in them. A lot of people do wrong. They have not been taught. You are boasting because you are taught. What can you say? <laughs> My dear daughter. Oh, yeah, she said so. Original. <laughs> yeah, original. It's this thing, can you see? When you are like that, I know your beauty. Yes. Thank you so much, Papa. You know, uh, I can't get used. I, I, I can't. I can't get used to you. Every time, to me, what ever you say to me, all these years that I have been with you, mm -hmm. your words are always new in me. They are always touching this heart of stone. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I really appreciate that God has loved me so much mm -hmm. that I have stood. Mm -hmm. And I know you are praying for me. Amen. Thank you so much, Papa, that um, 
by God's grace, mm. I'm still standing Amen. because of the grace upon your life. Amen. I really appreciate God for you, and may it be forever, even Amen. for those who are following the, me. There's a reward. Amen. Even God though you may not see it here, how about where you're going? Thank God. Don't worry. I thank God. You don't serve God in vain. People can call you, oh, this, this. No, she doesn't have this. They don't have this. Have you read Gen uh, Revelation? Shining as stars in their father's kingdom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, internet is fast. You are here. You are talking to someone in Brazil. No air ticket. Tell her never. but very destructive, very destructive. You are caught in there now, please. This you have failed to set yourself free. You have only managed to destroy yourself. And this is a time to be honest. You've been trying all this time. Ah, this, no, I've stopped, I've stopped. I'm not going to, to check this, this what? Internet, which page? <laughs> huh? Which page? Facebook, Daddy. No, where there are those people? <laughs> huh? It's a hard one, Father. Huh? It's a hard one, Father. It's just <laughs> yes. This has caused marriage to break. This has caused no fulfillment in marriage. Because you got a wife in India who's got long hair. Your wife has got short hair. The second wife is in India. Tell me that. Hmm. Hmm. Another one is in Egypt. <laughs> and you're failing to divorce them. This is Honesty, Psalm 15 again, pure heart. Not oh, because people know me to be like this. Again, you are living for people. I say, Adam was created alone. To symbolize to you, you should be unique the way you are. 